All right. So you're moving to Austin, Texas, and you're trying to find a lakefront property or possibly just living somewhere near the lake. You're looking around and trying to figure out where can I move that keeps me near the water? Well, in this video, we're gonna tell you all about Lago Vista, Texas and kind of show you what it's like to live here. We're gonna tell you some of the good, some of the bad, and some of the things you really need to consider if you're making a choice to live in Lago Vista, Texas. If you wanna know more about Lago Vista, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Wayne, this is Jay. We're the Brandis Properties Group. We're both licensed agents here in the state of Texas. And we love making these videos for you guys. But what we love more is for you guys to reach out to us with any of your real estate needs. We're the ones that answer the call, text, emails. Uh, we'll put the our information in the description below. And um, yeah, while you're down there in the subscription area, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell so you'll be notified if you want to see the next video we release. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, um, hit that little thumbs up so that way we can uh, grow this channel and get this information out to people that can help. That being said, let's get it rolling. Alright guys, so Lago Vista is a small city located northwest of Austin. Uh, it's considered one of Austin's suburbs and it is a very, very, very small town with a population of about 7,000, maybe a little bit less. Uh, when you come into Lago Vista, you're going to notice that it's a kind of like a, a sleepy town in the fact that it's mostly residential, a lot of homeowners, more homeowners than renters. Um, you're going to find that the biggest activity in Lago Vista is going to be anything to do with the lake. So a lot of properties with lake access, the terrain is very, very, very hilly and very like, rocky. like you could, yeah, kind of rocky, hilly, lots of trees, lots of limestone, lots of limestone. You'll find that when you come out here and start looking at some of the homes, there are some homes out here with some spectacular views of the lake and that's Lake Travis. So it's going to be opposite side of the lake from Lakeway. Um, we'll get into Lakeway in another video, but just know in relation to Lakeway, it's on the opposite side of Lake Travis. Okay. Northern part. And it's located in Northwest Austin too. Um, there's a lot of, like Jay said, a lot of homeowners that come out here to maybe retire. It's not a super busy city at all whatsoever. Um, and what's interesting is they have a 2030 plan. So basically what they have planned out for the next 10 years of all the development that's coming in and stuff like that. So uh, definitely a lot of growth in this area that's happening, uh, new construction. Um, there's plenty of, hand, like a handful of custom builders that you know you buy your own lot and then they build up the house for you. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of the homes out here have been here for a while. I mean, you're talking 20, 30, maybe even more years. And there's still a lot of development occurring in the fact that they're getting pieces of property, grading the land, building the foundations up because there's so much slope when it comes to these building sites. 
that they really, really double up on the, uh, on the foundations. Um, you know, one of the cons or one of the things I would say that you should be aware of is if you're looking for a place that has a lot of nightlife, it's not going to be in Lago Vista. In fact, the nearest HEB grocery store, it's about 20 minutes. I'd say yeah, about almost 30. Almost 30 minutes. It's 16 miles. Yeah, it's 16 miles away, guys. It's, yeah. It's, you have your little local convenience stores. Like a CVS, they have a CVS. Um, yeah, no yeah. Home. But there, there's just not a lot of... It, it, it's mostly residential. Not a lot of big business in Lago Vista at all. Um, yeah, so that's also something to keep in mind of because just for groceries, you got to go 30 minutes out um, and 30 minutes back home. So yeah, that's, that's the kind of the thing trip. where if you miss that gallon of milk you were supposed to get, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Another um, hour round trip to go back and pick it up. But on the bright side, if golf is your thing, they have nice uh, golf clubs around here. Um, yeah, there's a golf course in the middle of the city. It kind of you can see properties that surround the golf course. Um, any day of the week, you can come out. You'll see people out there playing golf. Like Wayne said, yeah. a lot of retirees parked it in Lago Vista, and it's a really it's got a pretty good community feel to it. There's a lot of community involvement, a lot of community events that they hold, but it's just not going to be like your big huge crowds like if you're after like that big six street feel big city feel you're not going to find that here at all yeah and i mean people are like traveling in their golf carts around here driving on the streets in their golf carts so that's yeah. that kind of small town feel exactly in a way that you get uh one thing i would would mention is that it rains a lot out here um so if that's not your thing i know it's not mine i really i don't like the rain personally he melts in the rain guys <laughs> but you know if if you don't mind the rain then you know of course you know being with lake travis right there is always going to be quite a bit of rain so yeah and being close to the water and having the rain i'm not going to say it's not hot but it definitely helps keep that temperature just a little bit cooler than places that are not by the water yeah low humid too though so. yeah yeah well yeah i mean it's texas yeah there's humidity and rain <laughs> and heat Yeah, Lago Vista, you guys, is, it's, if you're the type that's looking for something quiet, something kind of out of the way, kind of a ways out, you, you really feel, you don't feel like you're in an Austin suburb necessarily just because you are away from it. Uh, if you're into the lake sports, lake activities, any type of boating, jet skiing or anything like that, great place to be. Uh, as far as cost, the closer you get to the water, the higher the cost goes, right? That being said, there's still a lot of affordable homes that you can find in Lago Vista. I mean, you're looking from anywhere, I'd say from the low 300s and up. I mean, if you get a lakefront property, you can expect it to, to have that million dollar price tag. But as far as you, all the homes in between, it's gonna vary just like anything else as far as the size of the home, size of the lot, location, is there a view, is there not a view, things like that. Yeah. Uh, one thing to notice is, or one thing to note is, most of the homes out here are gonna be electric in terms of like your stove and your heaters and things like that. Uh, with the hilly terrain and rocky terrain, it makes it very, very, very difficult to lay any type of gas lines. Gas lines. So you'll see some homes with propane tanks, and that's kind of that's kind of common in this this area entirely. But you'll see a lot more of it in uh, in Lago Vista.
All right. So another thing to point out for you guys, and this could be a pro or a con, it just kind of depends on where you stand with it or what your personal views are. Uh, you'll find that in a lot of the small towns like Lago Vista, that people tend to have very conservative views when it comes to politics. Does it mean it's going to make your life heck if you're not agreeing with it? No. Um, people here are pretty friendly. Uh, like I said, a lot of community involvement, so you're not going to have a lot of fighting, arguing, that kind of stuff. It's not, it's not like you're going to see people marching in the streets. But just know that as a whole, as far as the city politics go, they tend to lean on the conservative side. Another uh, thing I wanted to point out about Lago Vista is you're going to find that people are moving here from all over the place. Uh, when you come into the Austin area and you start looking around, and depending on where you're at in life, I mean, if you're still young and into the, the party scene, or not even just the party scene, but just going out and doing a lot of things that, that aren't kind of like more low-key, I guess is a good way to say that. Um, a lot, of, a lot of people with that mindset tend to not move to this area just because there's like, it's just there's lack of things except not, for except for the lake. I mean, there's not much here for them. Yeah, that's what it really comes down to. So if you're a younger professional looking for kind of get in that sweet spot where you got a, some action or whatever it is that you're after to, and you want it really close to you and you want to just be in it, living it day in and day out, Lago Vista is not going to be the spot for you. Uh, if you're on the flip side, if you're looking for a place to retire and relax and enjoy the wildlife, you'll see a lot of deer running around. Um, anytime you have a body of water nearby, it, it brings the wildlife because they're there for the water, right? So you'll see deer, you'll probably find other things like skunks, possums, armadillos, you know, like the everyday stuff you see all over the place. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Lago Vista is just very relaxed, low key, quiet. Um, they do have a little airport that they fly little private planes in and out of. Um, kind of thing, when you have an airport like that, something to remember is that typically the hours for those are sunrise to sunset. It's not like you're going to have planes flying over your house all night long and people, I don't know, out flying <laughs> when they're not supposed to be. Uh, there's usually city ordinance and it kind of governs that kind of stuff. schools so if you're someone who has young kids or kids that are school age uh, according to niche.com most of the residents here feel that the schools are very good and their kids tend to thrive in the schools so if that's something you're considering I would take a closer look maybe go to greatschools.org and go to niche.com and kind of look at what people are saying they'll leave their reviews in there and they put little star ratings on there so you guys can get a good idea before you move into the neighborhood and buy that house and now you're kind of locked in a little bit. Um, but overall, small community. So a lot of the kids are, you're gonna know the same kids going all the way through school. One of the things you guys are going to notice when you're driving around looking at homes or even if you're just kind of out come to Lago Vista for the day to do some outdoor type stuff uh, there's no sidewalks 
there are no sidewalks when you go down the streets. Uh, and that's simply probably because I imagine just the elevation changes and the fact that the roads are like they literally have to build up the foundations for the homes and grade out the land quite a bit that putting in sidewalks I imagine would be a ton of work. too much of a pain yeah so you won't find any sidewalks when you come down into Lago Vista all right guys so we're at this neighborhood out here in Lago Vista it's called Lakeside at Tessera on Lake Travis uh, they've got three builders here in this community. That's a mouthful. <laughs> That's a mouthful. They've got Coventry Homes, Highland Homes, and Lennar. Um, they build these beautiful homes out here. I'd probably say the price point is probably like high fours, like today. Yeah. Uh, I had some buyers contract in January in the low fours, and now it's uh, high fours. It's not in the fives already yeah. <laughs> as we speak today. Yeah. Um, and it's a beautiful community. I mean, got a pool in the area, got a nice park. Have They have some walking trails as well down below. Um, Opportunity for great views of the lake. It is really, really, really close. It's like, like the name says, it's on Lake Travis. Yeah, it's a beautiful community. So if you guys are interested, reach out to us and we'll get you hooked up. All right, guys. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, like I said, we love making these videos for you guys. So reach out to us with any of your real estate needs. Our information is down below. Call, text, email, days, nights, weekends. We're the ones that answer the calls. That's right, guys. We answer those calls, texts, and emails. If you can, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Smash that thumbs up so we can grow our channel and get this in front of people that it might help. Until the next time, catch you later.